This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for joining us tonight. Haley is off this evening. Football Friday night starts in just 15 minutes. But first tonight, the North Carolina Bureau of Investigation will independently look into the death of Keith Lamont Scott, who was fatally shot by a police officer on Tuesday. Calls for police video of that incident to be made public only grew today once a video taken by Scott's wife was released. ABC's Heavy Waliga has the latest from Charlotte. As demonstrators filled the streets of Charlotte for a fourth straight night, protesting the police shooting of Keith Lamont Scott. He has no weapon. Don't shoot him. We now have our first look at Scott's last moments. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. He didn't do anything. This cell phone video taken by his wife and released by his family. He doesn't have a gun. He has a TBI. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. Rakia Scott pleading with her husband to get out of his truck. Keith, get out the car. Keith, Keith, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Keith, 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 don't you do it. Did you shoot him? Did you shoot him? His wife in shock as her husband lies mortally wounded. That's okay. Did y'all call the police? I mean, did y'all call an ambulance? Police say Scott was armed and that this image shows the gun they recovered. But this image from another angle shows what may be the same object far from the body. Charlotte's police chief resisting calls to release police video of the shooting. If I were to put it out indiscriminately and it doesn't give you good context, it can inflame the situation. The State Bureau of Investigation says Charlotte police do have the authority to release the video. They say local officials are actively discussing whether or not they will release it. Heather Walliga, ABC News, Charlotte. Heather, thank you. President Obama vetoes a bill that would have allowed families of 9-11 victims to sue Saudi Arabia. The measure would end foreign countries' immunity in the U.S. from lawsuits. The Saudi government has denied having any role in those terror attacks. President Obama says the bill could lead to U.S. diplomats and servicemen facing legal action in other countries and would hurt U.S. national security interests. Congress will attempt to override the veto next week. Here on the Sun Coast, a Sarasota woman is found guilty of trying to kill her six-year-old daughter. A jury finding Ashley Parker guilty today of four felony counts, including attempted murder. Sarasota police say they found Parker's daughter in her home on Leon Avenue with numerous stab wounds last summer. The little girl was among those to testify, describing the horrific incident. Parker is scheduled to be sentenced on November 2nd. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection standing by its word that the public is not at risk after a massive sinkhole opens at a mosaic facility in Mulberry. Mosaic and the government have faced scrutiny over letting three weeks go by before telling nearby residents in Polk County that more than 200 million gallons of wastewater spilled into the Florida aquifer. The DEP meeting with Polk County officials today again saying the contamination was contained at Mosaic's facility, but they also say that if there was any contaminated water in the aquifer, it moved so slowly westward, there would not be there would be enough time to capture it somehow. The CDC releasing an investigative summary on the Zika outbreak in the Wynwood neighborhood of Miami. The agency says the number of people actually infected by the virus was likely greater than reported, but that the affected area was small, centering on three businesses with outdoor areas where mosquitoes were breeding. Just over two weeks after an aerial spraying of pesticides began there in Wynwood, no further cases were reported and a travel advisory was lifted. Sarasota County's largest city continues to grow. Northport's population increasing by 3%. Over the last year, that's partly due to more than 800 new homes entering the market since last October, with many being built in the West Villages community. We would stand at number four in the nation as far as master plan communities are going based on sales. So it's really a very exciting time to be here. With that population growth, more than 64,000 people now call Northport home. One area of Sarasota County that may not see more growth, at least for now, is near the Saranoa Golf Club just east of the interstate. Sarasota Herald Tribune reporting county planners are recommending commissioners deny Neal Community's Grand Lake neighborhood proposal. 
They say the proposal would not provide enough elements of the county's 2050 plan for land use east of I-75, which includes affordable housing. Time now to get a check on the weather tonight. Bob was out at... Uh, at uh, music Friday Fest? Yeah, fr I get music. I mean, Friday yeah. Fest is the last yeah, one. This guy is very popular. It, it gets bigger and bigger, it seems, every time. Uh, some people said, why do they continue this? I think because they run into season then. And, season and there's shows there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's what I mean, yeah. uh, we are looking at this, some pretty decent weather for the weekend. We'll have the deep latest on that and the tropics coming up next. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. Hello, America. I'm John Crow. It is Friday, September 23rd, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $20 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold Mega Ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is eight. That's followed by 62. Up next, we have five. Your next number is one, and your final white ball for this Friday evening is... 25. Now for the Mega Ball tonight's Mega Ball numbers 14. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 8, 62, 5, 1, 25, and the gold Mega Ball is 14. Now, if no matches all six numbers, Tuesday's jackpot could be $25 million. Good luck and play on, America. At ABC7, it's all about being here for you. ABC7 News at 7 with award winning investigative journalist Alan Cohn. In depth reporting and debate on important issues and stories in our community. With a featured topic of the day and a live roundtable discussion with community leaders and newsmakers. Plus, a quick recap of the day's top stories and weather. ABC7 News at 7, weeknights. Now more than ever, we're here for you, Suncoast. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage internal bleeding or if a loved one died as a result call ivc filter helpline today our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you you'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor call today for a free confidential consultation don't fight this alone call ivc filter helpline now Please call 800-897-6764 that is 800-897-6764 Get to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today for deals worth celebrating during the Jeep Celebration event. Come shop the area's largest selection of Jeep Wranglers or check out a new Jeep Cherokee priced as low as $19,999. Stop by to see the stylish new Jeep Renegade starting at just $17,699 or drive away in a new Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Boy, a nice night out there at the Van Wezel. I'll tell you, we had a nice sunset, too. Get a look at this as we take a look at what's been happening uh, for this evening from around 6.30 to 7.50 or so. Uh, just a few high clouds coming in from the Gulf of Mexico with that southwest upper level wind. And it has been rather dry. Nice shot there. And we had some nice photos. Fred Seeger was out there at the Van Wezel, said hello, and he snapped this photo real quick. Another nice shot. He always sent some great pictures in. And from Spanish Point, Jerry Haley is sending this one in as well. And uh, Kathy Bixby, who also is a frequent shooter, who sent this in from Manatee Public Beach. Appreciate all those shots. And keep them coming over the weekend. Well, this is not a pretty shot at all. This is the recent Red Tide report from FWC. And uh, this is uh, earlier we showed Siesta Key. This is Turtle Beach. 
and these dead fish are washing ashore at Turtle Beach too. Uh, appreciate those photos that uh, people have been sending in. As far as the uh, numbers go on the red tide, uh, you can't right there. Uh, medium to high are now being reported across parts of the Sun Coast, especially mid part on Longboat Key. They're actually showing up at some high levels. There. That's one million cells per liter. And that is as high as it goes, and that's being reported now. Uh, luckily, it's in patches. And also off of Siesta Key, there's another area there that was tested just recently, showing high um, marks there, and also off into the uh, Gulf of Mexico there, just to the west of Lido. Not much down south and near Venice. There's one area well offshore of Venice uh, near the Point of Rocks that is showing the medium uh, levels of the red tide. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. As far as the uh, rainfall goes, there's not much rain around. The low pressure kind of weakening over the uh, Carolina coast. High pressure is now starting to build in. This low pressure will continue to move off uh, to the east, and we are looking at limited, limited shower activity like we saw today. Just one or two lone showers popping up here and there. Uh, nothing going on right now. Currently at the airport, it's 82, but the heat index at 86, dew point 71 degrees, and the barometer actually rising now at 30.02.